This is the plaintiff, Mackie. She says she met the defendant in the emergency room while she was getting an EKG. And soon after that, they moved in together. The guy pressured her into having sexual relations with him and became frustrated when she thwarted his advances. He ended up locking her out, caused her all sorts of problems, and as it turns out, he was one of the most awful human beings she has ever had the displeasure of knowing. She's suing for $5,000 for all she's out. This is the defendant, Joel. He says the plaintiff slipped him her phone number during a hospital procedure, ended up going home with him that night, and then moved in. They had sexual relations, developed a relationship, and six or seven months later, things changed. One night, she even brought another guy back to his place. That was it with her. He moved out. The landlord changed the locks, and now she has the nerve to sue him here in court? Ridiculous. But hey, it's a free country. He's accused of not treating his lady right. All parties, please use your right hands. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Did you want to okay. Speak? You've both asked us not to mention your last names. Mackie, you're suing Joel for $5,000 for pain and suffering and loss of an apartment, which you say is entirely his fault. Tell me what happened. Yes, Judge. Um, I met Joel in the ER in December of 2013. Um, he was the EKG that the EKG tech that they sent in to read my, to, to have the monitors attached and everything. Um, after my EKG was done, I realized that I cannot go home because my family had went away for the, week, for the weekend and I had no keys to go home. So how, did, how were you home before? They went away for the weekend. What That's were you all. in the hospital for? My heart rate was really, really fast and I, I had gone through a panic attack. So my sister dropped me off at the hospital that day. So um, when he came in, you know, he performed the EKG and everything. And he started talking with me, trying to keep me calm or whatever at the moment. And I said, you know, I'm really now at a point where I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should call someone else to come pick me up from the hospital because my family's away. So when he heard that story, he's like, well, why don't you just, you know, hang out with me? Stay for the week, you know, stay, just come over. And it's okay, don't worry about the weekend. When you, you know, you can call your family back when they return and then go back home. And I'm like, okay. Really? Yeah. Your response was okay? Yeah. Not no, to no, call no, your best I, friend or no, go, I have, go stay? No. I, I don't have any best friends and I, don't, I have very limited family. And I explained that to him as to why I couldn't contact anyone else to go home that night. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. I had nowhere else to stay that night, Judge. Except for that you stayed there for how long? For, I'm sorry, Judge? How long did you stay in his apartment? Um, we decided to live together to okay. pay the rent. <laughs> we decided to live together. So now it's to just pay now rent. it's just you met a guy, you liked him, and you moved in. No, no, Your Honor, it wasn't that way. What are you doing? It you're mind. a healthcare professional. Yeah. You meet a woman under these circumstances, right. and you're giving her your address and having her stay over. Well, the way it happened, I went to do the EKG on her. And I was totally professional because I don't, you know, when I'm at work. He was totally I'm, professional when? When you're doing the EKG or a few I, hours later when you have her shacking up with you? I, I mean, came like... to do the EKG and then while I was right before I started the EKG, she took her hand and popped it up and said, you know anybody who wants some of these? <laughs> she oh took what? God, you she took her hands and pushed her breast up and said, you know anybody who wants some of these? I looked at her in shock and I kind of like kept my mouth shut because I didn't want to respond. And I finished the procedure, and right before the curtain was pulled, she passed me her number. And from then wow. on, I kind of thought about it. And, throughout and you the... couldn't wait to jump into the life of a crazy person, no, because if she I... did what you're talking about, Honestly, she's Honor, nuts. Because I... she doesn't know you, she doesn't know, that you, she doesn't know if you have a family, she has no idea if you're a rapist, she knows nothing. So, of course, any woman that would do that, you would go, whoo, and go tell the hospital personnel that she needs a psyche valve, I right? Regret that. I regret that, you know, and I realized So that what you did instead was I invite her to your place. No, I... Does the hospital know that you did this? Throughout the night. Well, they know now. Throughout the night, ma'am, you know, she tugged at my heart, and, you know, and I have She tugged to, at your heart? Well, when I listen to her story... Have you got the right body part? <laughs> well, I'm not going to deny it, ma'am. I, I, I was a, you know, she came across as very sincere. She came as very believable, and I have to admit, she was very attractive. And to me, I felt like, well, let's just see, because, you know, she's once gone, she said she was going to go to the shelter, 
And you know what? So you have her come over, and then do you live alone? Yes, ma'am. I had. Right. A, I had. An and then she stays there for how long? Well, at first it was supposed to be temporary until her, you know, family or she got in touch with somebody. But then, in touch you know, with somebody until she get in touch with her family, and then she would, you know, leave more or less. You know, but then we got to know each other. We talked. Uh, I was basically charmed, and I fell for her, Your Honor. And I, I'm telling you, I'm I'm not perfect, and I did fall for her. And right now, I regret, you know, that decision, because you know everything was fine. I was working a full time job, and also had a part time job, so the money was good. She claimed that she couldn't work because she was suffering from uh, severe back pain. So for the first uh, three months, time just flew with us. You know, everything was like whirlwind romance, you know, and I was the happiest I've ever been in a long time. I was, before her, I didn't have a girlfriend. I was alone, and I was feeling lonesome. And then she came, and for some reason, I just, you know, succumbed, you know, to her charm. And then after I lost, got laid off, laid off my full-time job, you know, and the money was like half. I was only working part-time now, weekend only, so I spent more time in the house. And all of a sudden, you know, she stopped being uh, physical with me because the money wasn't coming like, and then, she, you know, we started arguing, you know, and so the arguing was continuous. It was like- About money? Yes, ma'am. And also because she, you know, sometimes, you know, her, her emotion was volatile. I didn't find out till afterward that she's under, you know, a doctor's care, psychiatric, you know, and she has been under psych, you know, and she's a psych patient. I never knew that. She waited till- Is that wait. accurate? No, it's not. It's not accurate. That's him not never knowing that. Judge. Oh, okay. But are, uh, I need to know because you're testifying. Definitely. I need to know, understand. Yes, do, uh, do you have a, a specifically diagnosed disorder? Yes, absolutely. What is it? Um, it's major depression, and I've been taking these medications since 2013, September of 2013. Um, I was suicidal. I lost my mom, my grandmother, and my brother. Did you attempt was, suicide? Yes, I did. When did you attempt suicide? Um, this was in December before I met him. I ended up the there. The same December? Yeah. And that, this is why I ended up back in the hospital. I was not well. I, I stayed at the entire week, um, of the whole Christmas week, I spent in, at, at the psych ward for, for attempt of When suicide. you met him, you weren't in the psych ward? No, I was not. Were you I, in a relationship a with him? I would not call that a relationship judge. What because what it was, it? I was forced, everything that happened that whole year, I was forced into it. What do you mean? Because I, he knew I had nowhere to go. Because that, everything you did, you were forced to do. What does that mean? Because I noticed that you said to your social worker that you were repeatedly sexually abused by him. Emotionally, sexually, and psychologically he, abused. He's a, very, he's a very forceful, and right now he's showing a side of where he is completely innocent of his demeanor and his sexual advan uh, advances. From day one, I had no idea this is what was going to happen. So, and what, that was you, that so you me. stayed there how long again? I, I lived there for, for a long? year and a mostly year. spent my gonna, time living I'm in the living room. I'm having a hard room. time believing you were repeatedly raped every time you had sex I with him. I lived in the living room, Your Honor. Your Honor. You so were repeatedly I don't think raped. Every single time you had sex with him, it was non-consensual. It was, it was non-consensual because every I was single not time. judge. Honest to God, I And you'd rather get I raped not, all the time than go no, to a shelter. No, that's not, the, that's not what it was. I went to a shelter before, and the violence there was worse than, than anything I've than seen. Than being I raped all the time in your own apartment? It's, See, this is important to me. Because if I don't believe you on that, I should believe you on very little of what you say. No, I, I was really, I didn't want to share this with so anyone. So what happened? What is it you're I suing him for? This. Explain this to me. What is it you're suing um, him for? Tell me what you're suing him for. The $2,000 I'm suing him for um, is for the fact that he waited till I went, I left for the weekend, and he then vacated the place after months of me But he, he doesn't there. own this place. You don't mean he vacated your stuff. You mean he left. He stopped renting that apartment. He didn't give us any notice at all. He didn't Who's give us? myself and the owner of the house. You have to give 30 days prior to moving out. Yeah, but you out. can't claim the owner of the house's problems. The owner of the house, what did you, what happened? Well, Your Honor, what happened, first of all, let me, let, let me just say that we used to say I, I love you to each other. She convinced me that she loved me. And I did love her. I loved her very much, okay? And when I found out, she told me to my face, I don't love you no more, I was very hurt. I was very hurt, but I continued to hope that, you know, you know, that she can, you know, she said, give her time, and I did. You know, she wasn't working. I was paying the cell phone. I was buying the groceries. She didn't have no contact with her mother. I was paying a rent of 950 It wasn't until the latter part of the year, around October and November, that she convinced me to sign a lease agreement because she said, I know somebody in social service that can fast track it, whereas I can get some money to help with the rent. Because she convinced you to what? To sign a, a, a paper, a lease agreement to say that, you know, she's, you know, 
She, Leasing from you. Yes. Spit it out. Is yes. that what you're saying? Yes, ma'am. Can I see that document? Yes. This is the lease that he signed, which is why I refused to leave the, the apartment. I asked him to leave instead. Is this what you want, the lease? Uh, do you have a I lease with him? Wanted... Yes, I do. That, is that what you handed my bill? Yes, it <laughs> is. Yes, it is. Did you ever pay rent? Yes, I have, Judge. Did you, did you pay 310 a month? I paid more than that. When did you move out? When did, he, when did you move out? I moved out January 23rd. At the time, the reason I even signed that is because we were getting along. There was no reason for me to rent to a place because she was my woman, okay? And she tell me that, you People know... People could get into this kind of a What do you think that, that... You think I'm supposed to just rip this up because you get to go ahead and write stuff like this and give it legal effect to the no. housing department so that you can get tax funds, but whatever you do, judge, don't hold me to that. I want it to have legal effect when I want it to have legal effect? No, I'm not saying that, man. Well, what that is what you're saying, because you I'm don't want me that... to look at this. See, let me tell you why this is critical. Because up to now, I was thinking she's just a guest in your house, because that's what you've always said, and that you then moved out without giving her notice, and my response to her was going to be, you don't deserve notice. You're not allowed to get notice. You don't have, there's no requirement for notice. Tough for you, honey. What can I tell you? And then I see a lease agreement between the two of you. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, She yeah. sued the landlord also. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she lost. No, she won because she cried in the court and she I told cried. all kind of stories. No, 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 no. You, you got to see me Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you did not get money from the landlord. Yes, I, yes, I did, Judge. You did? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So how long should you um, date somebody before you make the big move and move in together? I'd say about one year. A year? Yeah. Okay. Anybody go less than a year here? Really? Six months. Why are you saying? I think that, you know, you know somebody after six months of okay, dating. Okay, well then let me put it a different way. When do people stop acting on their best behavior and show who they are in reality? Probably a year or two. So you, well, who said three years? I said three years. <laughs> okay, it's going up, <laughs> going inside the courtroom. What did you get from the landlord? They were, they, they communicated together to, to arrange, do, have because their Because what, what did the landlord do? He, a he legally locked me out. He well, changed every lock in the no. house. When I came home, Everything was changed. Everything, my, my property was in the street. Some were in the backyard, some here, some there. So you sued the landlord? Mm hmm And what'd you get? For illegally locking me out. Just right. for $1,000. How because much? Because of 30 days. How much? $1,000 for 30 days of being without my property, have no coat in this 10 degree weather we So have. then what are you planning to get no from him? Access. I had no If you no got $1,000, how much more out are you of anything? How is that not, not sufficient to compensate you when you're supposedly paying 310 a month? Mm -hmm. How is that not sufficient to compensate you for your troubles? It's, and it's how not. is it you get to double dip now and collect from him when you collect from the landlord. They both, they are both at fault for what happened. And the, the thing is, I'm gonna I give you the final word. What is it you his, wanted his to say? Yes, I, I have to, I, I made ahead. his resume. Stop talking. Everything. Everything. I did everything for him. Oh, okay. And he held you for a year. Go ahead. Ma'am, when she moved in, she moved in with the clothes on her back and slowly she started. Okay, we're not gonna go over this again. But she didn't what did you have want to say about the last go ahead? The furniture, she had no furniture. It was my furniture, okay? And yeah, the I'm couch, finding that hard to believe that it was all your furniture when, I, when you she had nowhere to go and ended up going home with the EKG guy. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I find that the plaintiff has not sustained her burden of proof. My verdict in this case is for the defendant. Well, come on out in the hallway here. Uh, on the losing end of this case, you heard the judge rule for the defendant, and what's your feeling on that? I, I felt it was really a, a, a very bad decision on, on the behalf of the fact that I couldn't even pr produce all of the evidence that I do have to show my, my liability in all of this, you know, for what the... the um, defendant mm -hmm. had put me through. How do you feel about the way you two guys met? Was, uh, did that really happen? It did, only because I trusted him as a hospital employee, knowing that, hey, you know what? I know where you work. Did I know it happen you... the way he said it happened? No, it did not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. did, did you not have feelings for him? Did you love him? I did not love him. <laughs> I did not love him. I cared for the man, for ha helping me somewhat to get to have a place to live. However, mm -hmm. the, the stress that he's put me through and everything that I did for him, I felt I deserved more than that. Okay. All right, fellow officer McIntosh, please, around the corner here. All right, and so uh, you're standing there with your back to, back to her as she's speaking over here. Come on, step in a little closer. I, I see the tears in the eyes. What's going through your mind? When I heard her say she never loved me, it's, it's very, very painful. You know, because she used to say I love you very much, and I used to say I love her too. We used to be on the beach in each other's arms, each embrace, and now to hear these words. All right, let's go to Harvey. 
Okay, you know what, it, it, Kurt, it, it, this is sounding all too weird. It sounds like everything in this relationship was consensual and she is just making this up. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.